Welcome back to Let's Play Control, Burning Dog fans. Last time... Well, last time I finished off the, uh... The last of those mold hosts who had escaped into research. Again with all the personal mods. Fuck, I keep doing that today. Curses. Oh, source recovery and health recovery. Sure. Oh! Wow! Why are those two blinking at the bottom? But yes, this one is actually better than the one I have. Huh. It doesn't usually do that. I guess it's because of the same category. It doesn't really care. Hmm. What was the DLC ones? Once they added a bunch of new different categories, it started filling up fast. You know what? Energy recovery on taking explosive damage seems specific enough that I'm going to get rid of it. And again, the weapon mods. Oh, they're identical. Interesting. You don't often get that. I did make sure. That's better than what I actually have on uh, one of the other guns. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Um, let me see here. Yeah, this one. No, it's not that one. It was uh, that one. Nee. Okay. Um. Where the hell is that control point? I think it's over there. Yes, so we need to head to the foundation. There's some stuff to take care of down there, and apparently a lot of it is in the vicinity of the warehouse area. see. Sure, fi uh, maximize seize, because I do use it an awful lot. Seize 6 plus 15% to seize duration. Hell yeah. I guess I should probably get multi-launch, huh? Oh, jeez. That's very expensive, then. 
Oh boy. Although I do have a bunch of that stuff. Yay! And an untapped potential, even. Let's do this! Pierce! Upgraded to full! Kinda surprised I didn't get an achievement for that. Where am I going? The, that's right, even lower than the pit. Uh, let's start. Oh god, with Astral Tower PE. Because uh, I believe this was where everybody's friend Derek Floyd told me to find the most cursed artifact in this game. The rejected episode of uh, Threshold Kids. How could I not immediately leap on that? Okay, on a pillar near the, uh, the control point, it said. So I'm going to look up at top of this. How do I think of it? Shouldn't it be a television? Oh, Christ. Here we go. Oh, look, VHS tapes. I found three of those today. Okay. Let's do this. On behalf of my species, I am so, so sorry for bringing this to your dimension. <laughs> Just... Wow. I need to find that recording. Actually, that was one of the things that was, uh... Hinted to be near the warehouse, come to think of it. order to transfer our resources to the upper floors. Now that my control points allow us to safely come and go from the New York streets, did I forget to include that fact in my previous logs? I've been so busy using the arrays I made. Yeah, I guess that's not about the teleportation thing, it's just about the fact that it stabilizes the oldest house. I'm supposing before they set up the control points, it would just randomly crush people with its walls. I won't go. I refuse. Northmore won't be happy, but so be it. I'm starting to see him for what he is. An impotent storm. Father Shane in a cheap suit. I do feel bad for that guy, I must admit. I hope he found peace in his life. I mean, it's weird, you know, I, I find myself hoping that the guy, you know, found his happy ending, except the guy, in, uh, given how long Darling has been uh, head of research, Theodore Ash Jr. has almost certainly been dead since 
Damn it. What the hell? There. Now you're on Overwatch. Deal with it. Oh. Uh, no, not that one. This one. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Oh, God. The fucking things these guys can do. Oh, boy. Who is this now? Well, staff officer. No! Okay. And there's a sniper scope on me, not on the other guy. Oh, right. I don't want to double that. That would be silly. Two of the same one. I'll tell you what, let's just put a big old chunk of damage on it. Where's that? No, that was the one I put. I saw on one of my guns. Damn. Um, or was it that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Seems appropriate somehow. Oh. Unexpected. Oh. oh! I didn't actually select the other one. My bad! You know, I'll just go with this. Fuck it. Excuse me, my good dude. Oh, there's an audio log. 28 days now spent inside what we're calling the oldest house. Northmore insists on the name. I'm too tired to ask why. I'm not sleeping. Me and my research team have established a permanent examination lab in the Foundation. I basically live down here now. Like the obedient head of research finally. I spent my days investigating that odd pillar where Northmore found the handgun. The work was half-hearted at first, I admit. But then I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging at its base. Do you remember that line? Layla. <laughs> Get back here, you fuck! That doesn't quite work when I'm floating, huh? Welcome back to the Bureau, for the next few minutes. Next minute or so, I should say. Alright, I need to look around for some stuff. We're on Floor 3, Tunnel Axis, and I found an audio log tucked over... There's something in there, too? Tucked over here, next to this barrel. I don't know if I've heard it before. Entry day plus 59. Aha! Northmore has ordered an all-hands search for objects similar to the service weapon. He claims there are more in the house. Though I don't see how he's so certain. He's been strange lately. Talking about joining greater causes. And frequently mentioning a pyramid. After pressing him, he finally described this pyramid to me. Inverted, black, mathematically perfect. Oddly enough, Adam and the other id have shown me numerous inverted triangles painted on the cave walls. Surely there's a connection. 
I don't see it yet. As far as occult symbols go, triangles are by no means rare. Flood, Levi, Kroll, they used that shape like it was going out of fashion. Standing on their base, triangles signify stability and strength. Inverted on their points, they represent conflict and stagnation. Of course, the orientation is just a matter of perspective. Looking at the pyramid from below gives you one, from above, another. Huh. Northmore says he looks up at the inverted pyramid. I have to wonder, is anyone standing over it, looking down? Well, that's the last of his logs, I guess, but... I was really expecting Five to be... to explain Six. It's like, oh, we decided to, uh, start doing some testing on the inn. Sorry. I guess I gotta keep looking around. How do I get in there? <laughs> Stupid question, but uh, can I just blow the doors off? Oh, hell! Okay, blowing up that thing made it work. I don't think that's ever been the solution before. And I'm kind of surprised there's no ID in this room. Yeah, I guess I was just supposed to shoot the, uh, the, the forklift then. Now here's the question, will that go away when I leave? I'm guessing the hole in the wall will not, but the, uh, the forklift itself will come back. Hmm. Okay, believe it or not, very shortly after I stopped recording there, I wandered into this building, and discover that I hadn't done that before, because there's an ID sitting right fucking there. Uh, let's put that away, please. Thank you. Another one of those ID cards. Security chief. That reminds me, while I am here... Actually, yeah. Pope tells Jesse what the five old bureau ID cards needed to access Dr. Ash's restricted lab below the warehouse. Just one left. Uh, I guess I'll keep looking around. Well, I found this at least. Nice. Oh, Christ, that one actually startled me. Can't have that. I'm way up here near the top of the map, and I found another crystal uh, wall. Oh, don't mind the music, there's just some hiss chasing me. Yeah, that was a good call on my part. Oh! It, uh, worked that time. It never worked. I was recording that. <laughs> and the fifth one is right here on the floor. Jeez. I wish I had known that. This ID card was for an excavation engineer. Why did so many people abandon their cards down here? Oh, why do you gotta ask questions like that, Jesse? <laughs> a layer of dust on this place? Nobody swept here in years. Not even Ati. No way he'd stand for this. There's an elevator, which I'm sure is super safe, in a space in each terminal for an ID card. But which card goes where? It's got to be about the things next to them, right? That's the only thing differentiating them. 
Okay, we've got Chief Ex uh, Excavation Engineer, Head of Research, Security Chief, Senior Cartographer, and Lead Physicist. So this one had, yeah, this one has guns and stuff on it. So this has got probably security. Hank Wilder. Huh. I wonder if that's of any relation to Beth Wilder. You know, Jesse's character from, uh, Quantum Break. So, sorry, I'm just looking at the numbers at the bottom of the cards to see if there's any uh, significance. But, uh, if there is, it's not jumping out at me. So I'm just gonna try Security Chief here. See. Oh, charts! Yes! Cartography. I mean, so I guess someone had to put all those signs up. Marcus Talbot. What's the name and sign to this one? Hank Wilder, that's right, yes, I knew that. Uh, books. Something intellectual. Head of research! Head of research or lead physicist. I'm gonna put head of research. Because, uh, the other one feels more like science experiments. Uh, I'm not getting this one. Well, with the digging tools and shit, this has got to be, uh... One of the cards was for an excavation engineer. I wonder which console was theirs. Hello? Well, this one's got to be the, uh, the, the other one, then. You know, by process of elimination. Oh, wait. I am determined to this. Lewis McNary. Excuse me! I'm trying to solve a puzzle here. You're being very inconsiderate, and now I'm putting you in timeout. And lead physicist Dr. Gustav Frenzel. I was afraid that was happening in here. Alright, there's no actual button to, like, try this combination. So I'm gonna try switching these two. Not the lead physicist. But you're definitely the excavator. You're definitely the cartographer, and the other one's definitely the head of security, so yes. Yes, I'll just, uh... The physicist would probably have instruments or something. For... physics. Oh. I, I guess. It does have one of those things on it. Fine, I guess you can say that one's research, because it's got folders on it instead of actual books. Uh, Dr. Gustav Frenzel. And, of course, Dr. Theodore Ash, head of research. It worked. Now I just have to get on a rickety elevator that goes who knows how far. I mean, you rode the one in the warehouse, and no one had updated that since the 60s. This is probably fine. Ooh. This is right, this is the same elevator, in fact. We've ridden on this elevator before. Just earlier, in fact, although I think that was off camera. Still, this lap's way tighter than it is. Let him fight! Jesse! Jesse! Priorities! Let's not have the bomb one out. Artifacts, I guess? No, it's freaking stone. Oh, I see! They are artifacts, because this is astral stone. How the fuck did they get it back? I thought Jesse was the first person who ever went there physically. I 
Which, yeah, Emily said we're getting all kinds of new information now that we can just walk over to the, uh, the astral plane. What's this? Big door. Wonder if I had to get that crank in the back before it would open. My apologies for sequence breaking, if that's the case. Oh. That is the box I just opened. Cool. Oh! Not Gibbs! You're the one who left those notes about the, 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 the apartment collapsing. Oh, I really don't want to have to kill you. You were the victim, man. And she's got fucking Godzilla laser breath. How about you go kill her for me? Ducking. And uh, that was very. Uh... Damn it. No! My organs. Well, the timer did go. So we're going to take a second crack at that boss fight on the next episode of Let's Play Control. There's another area I needed to check out. I just missed something that was right in front of me in the uh, the room where I learned about the uh, the altered item they accidentally created by videotaping Ati. Oh, and I'm back out here because this is where I hit that, you know, off camera. No, oh, sorry about that. But yes, I'm Bernie Dogface. I'll see you next time. Wish me luck. Later.